Okay, welcome back to SmartHelping.com here, and this is the template I was working on on the live stream on Monday. I finished up, uh, basically I just cleaned up the summary, but um, I built the bulk of it on stream. It's an employee tracker for HR departments. Now, I'm not 100% sure what all HR departments might be tracking, but I tried to make, I looked up a bunch of stuff, and I tried to make my best um, basically make the best summary for the most obvious data points. Like, uh, so if you go to summary here, this sheet will allow the user to come in. You'd clear out all the data that's already in here. This is just test data. Um, clear out all of this. Don't clear out the, the white columns. Those are formulas. Um, and you could enter all this information about employees uh, that you have. The main thing, obviously, is um, their status, full-time, part-time, contract, PRN, uh, and then insurance eligibility. And I know these are big things that HR departments have to track, so this is a nice thing to keep yourself more organized. So insurance eligibility, status insurance. I also did some things about employee performance as far as, like, if they've gotten strikes, excused versus unexcused absences, sick days used, um, vacation days, current wage, date of last raise, uh, personal days used, personal leave days, max personal days remaining, um, and then some extra fields here as well as some notes. So the basic premise of the template is real simple. You enter the data here. Um, it aggregates in the summary. So here we can see um, you know, your average employee count by type, uh, who employees sign up for insurance by type, the percentages, this chart shows the comparison of who's, you know, total employees, full-time employees, and of those full-time, how many have signed up for insurance. Um, some insurance stats here. The strike limit shows up to 10, like who's over the max strike limit, whatever that might be. Note, you can set up the max strike limit and um, unexcused absences limit here, and this will format, this will apply automatic formatting depending on whatever you determine should be the, the uh, basically what's, what equals like okay, like up to five strikes is okay, um, six to 10 is getting, is acceptable, and then over 10 is not good. Same with unexcused absences. Uh, these numbers can be changed and they will affect a couple things. You can see the conditional formatting in strikes and unexcused absences. You can see the cutoff there was 10, so 10 is still okay. If you're over that, it starts to turn red. Uh, if you're under, what is it, 5? Yeah, 5 or less is okay. Um, so some conditional formatting on those is dynamic. I put filters on all this so you can filter the whole database by all these different data points if you want. I also put a tab for fil automatic filtering so here I can see okay who's been employed for more than X days I could put you know let's say 2000 that's gonna oh. one person's over 8000 and actually actually we can say that into years here divided by 365 just so you can see what the heck you're typing in Put that on the tenure when that actually makes a lot of sense for that um whose strikes you know so no more than let's say five no more than one no strikes uh who has at least a certain amount of strikes so you're saying okay who's who are my you know who's over five who's over six Etc. You can adjust that and see automatic filters here in the count. Um, I also did age. You can get reporting by age here. Um, attendance, no more than X unexcused absences. At least X unexcused absences. And then uh, who's gotten a raise within X days. Who is or who has not gotten a raise within X days. So it's saying... Um, you know, these people have had a raise, or it's been more than 365 days since they've had a raise. 
Um, and these people have received arrays within uh, X days. And you could change the whatever the input is for these. Um, validation tab is all you're really defining is the ranges for strikes and unexcused absences. Uh, you're defining the worker types. These should probably be your main, like, there could be other ones, but these four are pretty common. Uh, so again, if we go back to the summary, this shows just who's hit the strike limit, uh, where your entire workforce is as far as strikes, who's got less than five, and this is going to follow automatically your numbers you put in for the on the validation tab. Uh, also, who's got perfect attendance, which is going to account um, who has at who has zero unexcused absences, and what's that? That's what that's pulling from. And so I just did, numbered it up to 50, and it'll automatically update as the data is updated. I also did count of employees by type, a pie chart, signed up for insurance by type, some more visuals. Um, and then down here I did uh, employee count by tenure, so you can see how many employees you have that have been there for, you know, zero to one years, one to two years, two to three, three to four, um, four to five, et cetera up to 30 years and then employee count by age range you can see like who's getting older who's younger wh where's your workforce at what do you got to start thinking about um so that's kind of the the summary page i tried to summarize the most important uh, data points and and that's pretty much it uh just note when you do if you do uh purchase a template when you get it You'll have to hit file, make a copy. So you go up here to file, hit make a copy, and then that will give you your own editable version. And you can you can have that version. You can set access by going to share and define if you want to share it with just a certain amount of people or just your email has access to it and nobody else. There's all kinds of permissioning you can do with Google Sheets. It's pretty nice. Um, again, yeah, only adjusting uh, cells in light yellow. You don't want to mess with the white columns. Uh, clear all the data out before you start using this. Uh, start and then you start entering your data in the data tab. Follow instructional video, which is this what you're watching right now. And that's pretty much it. I'm up to suggestions. If you you know you're an HR manager or work in an HR department and you know there's something that all HR departments want to track that's not in here that's really important, um, I can update this and, and do future customizations to handle that. Uh, but I feel like we captured the majority of things that need to be tracked um, on a broad basis. Obviously, every single business can have specific things, but this should be a nice tool that any HR manager could use to be a little bit more organized. You know, they might be tracking some of this on pen and paper or uh, in a, a less sophisticated spreadsheet. This kind of is really nice and neat. We're using drop downs. We're using uh, some array formulas for summaries uh, to reduce data entry errors. Um, and then we've got summarizations that are pretty uh, useful. Um, okay, so that's all I got for you. Check if you do want to purchase this, the link will be in the description box below. Um, or you can go to smarthelping.com. I'm actually going to add a template bundle at the top that says HR because I've actually got a couple templates that are good for, um, I think, HR departments. So look for that to happen soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one.